Hello, it is Sunday. It is August the 20th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we will be reading from the book of Proverbs, always a good book to take a look at. Chapter 3, verses 27 through 35. Here's the word of the Lord. Do not withhold good from those whom it is due, when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you, when you already have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason, when they have done you no harm. Do not envy the violent or choose any of their ways. For the Lord detests the perverse, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. The wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame. And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today is titled, Flood with Kindness by Christy American Horse. And here's what Christy has to say. Have you ever met someone who is constantly tweaking the truth to accomplish their own goals? You do not want to be in their crosshairs when they pull back their crossbow of words and point it. They might accuse you of something startling. Some people can fabricate the vilest lies. Perhaps they seek to take someone's position or undermine their self-esteem. Some even have been incarcerated due to false testimony against them. During the global pandemic, the world saw examples of widespread hoarding. Toilet paper and everyday items as well as protective items flew off shelves, store shelves. At the same time, a wave of kindness came flooding over the world. Neighbors brought, bought food and other necessity items to those who were sick or could not get out. Others cheered on frontline workers and essential personnel. Everyone from little children to senior adults performed these acts of kindness. Where are you on the kindness spectrum? Do we treat our neighbors as Jesus reminded us to do in Luke 10, 25 through 37? Let's think of ways to bless those we interact with this week. Let's be the feet and hands of Jesus in our community and our world. <clears throat> the hymn is by Francis R. Havergal. Take my life and let it be consecrated. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. And from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. And this is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Sunday, August the 20th. Have a blessed day.